What's up kids, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, uh, ordered myself this Oxy LED motion sensing head headlamp model MH20. And I uh, got this sucker um, on Amazon. You can uh, find them uh, in various places. Um, I have actually ordered and bought at least a few headlamps now, giving them a, 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 some, a try, uh, putting them through some real world workouts. Uh, and the short reason why I'm in so big into headlamps right now is um, well, last year or so I got lost on a night hike in the desert and um, two things about getting lost in the desert one at night if there isn't a full moon dude it is freaking dark and everything looks exactly the same it looks just like flat land um, or if you're lucky enough to have some landmarks great the second thing is there's a lot of really crappy dangerous stuff in the desert um some stuff that will spring up and bite you some stuff that'll just stick you um lots of really really bad things um and so having light and knowing where you're going is pretty important you don't want to step on a snake you don't want to walk into a cactus all that kind of stuff so um short version is um i had a flashlight but a headlamp would have been way better one because um you know your hands are free and two uh, you know, the flashlight I was carrying wasn't really that high output, and there are a lot of headlamps that are um, darn near virtually car headlights for uh, for people. So anyway, bought this one, and this one has a really unique feature. I've already taken it out um, and been using it, and one of the really cool features of, the, of this is the motion sensor, and I'll, I'll explain that in a, a little bit here. First of all, it comes with the uh, elastic you know, um, headband it goes around the side, one over the top, adjustable. I, I put this on my giant pumpkin sized head right out of the box without any adjustments and it fits fine. The battery pack sits in the back, uh, directly on the back of your head. It's hard polymer plastic for the case. And then the front, like a lot of uh, headlamps, comes off with a little rubber cap here. Uh, you know, one of the things that I, didn't like is you know it's not tethered or anything so I'm like oh man I hate potentially losing it but it snaps on pretty securely and then it's going to be pressed up against your head so it's not going to come off and the the rubber makes it pretty comfortable I, I honestly I haven't felt it it's not super thick or padded or anything but um, it certainly has not been uncomfortable my only concern is these things may be coming off because you carry this in your pack and it's being knocked around but so far I haven't had any problem with it uh, I installed three AAA batteries here, just standard, um, I don't know what these are, nickel, cadmium, I don't know, whatever. And uh, the thing works pretty well, so you'll, have, you'll be able to find batteries all over the place as opposed to the lithium ion rechargeables or something, which you might have to special order. Um, so they just go right in there. And then there is a uh, power cord, which the uh, the cable that runs to the headlamp to to carry the power has this little kind of springing telephone cord like uh, extension on it so that's pretty cool and um you know so i was able to get it running right away as opposed to some of the other headlamps that i like i said special ordered um batteries all right on to the cree led headlamp portion which is kind of the most important piece here some things i like i you know i absolutely love uh some of the things that that i would have on my wish list right off the bat is i almost wish this had um, either an adjustable beam, like I could focus it is basically what I'm saying, or broaden it, which you can't do. And at 200 lumens on the highest output setting is actually pretty bright. I'll show you some footage of that. Uh, you know, I had no problems if, if this is gonna be something I'm wearing while walking around in the dark in the forest and in the in, uh, desert or wherever. Um, you're not gonna have any problems for yourself. Uh, but in terms of total range, you know, you're probably gonna get 50 to 100 yards out as kind of your best usable illuminated range with it. Um, you know, there are some other headlamps, and I'm going to show you some of those pretty soon that come out with some wicked massive um, outputs like this sucker. That'll be another video. Um, and so, you know, if you're really going to hike and you're looking and you're going to be wearing this for multiple people, you want something that's going to be a little more Goliath. But this works great for a personal use. Um, but 200 lumens, like I said, you just got to understand that that's kind of like, you know, a small flashlight. Bright, but a small flashlight. Um, the advantage of that is that the headlamp unit itself is pretty small here. Um, you know, it's it's actually, you know, here's a watch that I have, um, you know, and this is like a 
42 millimeter um, watch. So it's, it's, it's small and you're not carrying around this huge massive thing that's pulling on your head. The second thing I like about this is that it adjusts, um, it pivots so that you can get it to point down almost so that you could actually use it to read maps or if you're working on something in front of you, um, you should have no problems with that. I actually found that in my use, I guess because my your forehead is already slanting up, is that I had actually had to pull it out about a notch to kind of go straight out. And then when I was walking, I actually used the second notch and that gave me kind of good illumination on my path. So uh, two notches out right off the bat is kind of where it's gonna be. The The housing here seems to be plastic and this this seems like metal, the um, the actual housing for the the LED piece here. Um, it's It may not be, but it's, you know, I'm not sure how to tell you, plastic, and that seems warm. It seems heavier, seems thicker. So maybe hard to see there. Okay, um, on to how does the motion detection work? So first of all, you turn it on with this top button. This top button toggles through the three light modes. So you get your full 200 lumens here, push it again, and now I'm assuming that this is maybe about 100 lumens, so it steps down in brightness, saves the battery. And then the third one is your strobe either for signaling, for rescue, or for, um, you know, showing your buddies where you're at, or, you know, I don't know, uh, blinding and attacking bear. Panda bear! Um, the way the motion detection works is this second button on the side here. Um, so you can turn it on, and you're walking, and you want to use the motion detection feature, and you hit this button. It, it turns the light off, but now motion detection is on. You wave your hand in front of it, and wave your hand... Uh, in front of it again to turn it on or off. It actually works amazingly well. There are two little sensors here that I guess are the proximity sensors. On, off, on, off, on, off. And it doesn't matter which way you go. Um, you don't have to touch it. You can see here. Um, and you can, I kind of notice that if I just shoot my hand up in front of it, um, but so either way the motion detection works really well the beauty of that is you're not fumbling with switches and on my other headlamps there's always like a little switch up here either it's like a, um, a a sliding switch and you know I never thought that there could be an improvement on that but this motion sensor when you turn it on makes it so easy to use in fact um, the fact that this has a motion sensor to me, you can still turn it on and off with your switch, no problems. Cycle through the through the light modes there. Um, because maybe there will be times you're passing through trees. I don't know how close you have to be to turn on that sensor, but um, there are some times maybe you want to manually do it. But the beauty of this is it works so well and is so convenient and, and prevents you from having to fumble for switches when you're hiking with it that I will absolutely look for motion sensing uh, headlamps before any other type. The The difference is with a flashlight is these are, you're holding your hand anyway, so why not have, you know, why not just always have a manual button? This, uh, because your eyes are going to be right here, can't see the switch, and so you're going to always have to be fumbling around for it. So really, really awesome innovation in the headlamp market. I'm definitely going to take a look and see if they have any other headlamps in different output uh, um, powers with this feature on it. So I'm really impressed with it and uh, you know, check it out. It's not an expensive headlamp and and really if you know if you do a lot of stuff hands-free and use headlamps, man, I really think this is the one to get. Peter Von Panda for the MH20 motion sensing headlamp. Out.